SJS Ron Kohn in at computers.com outro video parity oi I recently made a video attempting to upgrade video LAN open source media player VLC from 2.2.6 to 2.2.8 and it failed and I received this error error opening file for writing video LAN slash VLC slash live VLC dot DLL Caveat emptor, this is my disclaimer, this is only a potential fix. If you follow these steps and it does not fix your issue, don't get angry because I know you Americans are violent and savage and angry, you're easily offended, you're hypersensitive, and you have anger issues. That's my disclaimer. There could be other reasons why you're receiving this error, but here is a quick potential fix. Keyword potential. What you would do if you receive this error when attempting to upgrade VLC Media Player, you would open up Task Manager and kill, that's a terrible term because YouTube is fascist and they go around censoring and their algorithm uses artificial intelligence and even that word might get this video demonetized or removed. You want to stop. Back back in the day us computer technicians used to use the word the 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 K word to explain how to stop a process. It's all it's acronyms. It's just an acronym. The K word stop end a process means the same you're going to stop the process from running so there's a potential fix of stopping any VLC processes that are running in the background or any other software or processes that is using VLC that's the potential fix the second one would be to just reboot your computer once you end or stop those processes VLC processes then go ahead and try to upgrade VLC that's what I did yesterday although I'm pretty certain during my video I did end or stop processes but it didn't work right away I went it was about five minutes later a couple minutes later I tried it again I went into task manager and I didn't see any processes and then I said I, th I just thought I'd give it another shot and sure enough VLC did upgrade successfully from 2.2.6 to 2.2.8. So let me demonstrate really quick. Muy rapido. So go into Task Manager on Microsoft Windows operating systems, maybe all the way back to Windows 95, but especially Windows XP Vista 7, 8, 10. In order to get to Task Manager, you can get there two quick ways. You can right click the taskbar. I don't think I'm going to have any r enough room to do it because uh, I'm using enough software. But if you can get into the task manager somewhere and right click, yes, you see, right click the task manager and then choose task, excuse me, taskbar. Right click the taskbar. Right click the Windows taskbar, which most people have it at the bottom then choose task manager and then it opens up then what you would do is look under apps now task manager has changed it's different on Windows XP and I would say I think when task manager even on Windows 10 might be a little different than Windows 7 but it but you know what I'm saying look for applications if there was VLC running you would right click it and then choose end task look under background processes maybe the VLC auto it's not autom it doesn't automatically update there's a VLC notifier it's an automatic notifier it'll notify you if there are updates that might be running in the background and then when you go to upgrade VLC that ta that task that process process is still running and it, for whatever reason it conflicts then you get this error opening file for writing video land slash VLC slash live VLC dot DLL DLLs are dynamic link libraries lib means library 
that's a pretty significant file, at least to me, from my understanding. Then you would, if, if there's more than one VLC instance, or there, if you notice the auto update notifiers running, or potentially other software that's using VLC, then you would right click and then choose end task. And then I would wait a few minutes because I noticed last night when I made that video, I didn't do anything else. I didn't find any other instances of VLC. I didn't end or stop any other processes. I just thought I'd go back into Task Manager to see if maybe the auto notifier was running or maybe another instance of VLC was running that I missed the first time. I did not end any processes and sure enough, I went ahead and tried to upgrade VLC and it worked. Another solution is just to reboot your computer and then don't don't start VLC. But I'm thinking maybe the VLC auto notifier might be running in the background and you might have to end it. Adios.